Hi everyone, it's uh, coming up to 11.45 on the 25th of August, so it's still Sunday evening. And me and my little brother, we went to a car boot sale today and I came home with uh, a bunch of goodies, including this laptop, um, two other laptops and three desktops. And what I've decided to do is break them down in a separate video so I'm going to try to put all of these in one video because it's just going to run on for too long. So I'm going to start with this one. It's a Toshiba Tecra uh, 510CDT and it is in full working order. Uh, it's got Windows 98 installed with some um, Toshiba software that would have shipped with this from new so that tells me it's still the original OS. Plus, it came with the laptop bag, a spare battery, don't think either, well, the seller told me the battery on the actual laptop's no good, so I don't think that one's going to be any good either. And I don't know if I could open these up to actually try and rebuild them either, and I haven't got the equipment anyway. I would need a spot welder to rebuild batteries like that. Um, but they're expensive, I wouldn't mind one, but they are expensive. Anyway, it came with mouse. It doesn't actually have an external power supply, it's just got one of these mains cables. So, just plug it straight into mains, like so. I don't know if this would have come with this white cable uh, from new, but it doesn't matter, it just looks a bit tatty. Right, but it also came with two of these 3Com Ethernet adapter thingies with, um, I can't remember the name of that socket now, it's a coaxial socket but uh, that's going to break me now, plus this that you connect them to, there's already one on there, um, a little rollerball mouse made by Mercury and an external floppy disk drive which um, I haven't tried it but it looks like if you push in this little tab there and then push in on this you can actually it does take a bit of force but you can actually pop out the floppy disk drive and I've got a feeling you can pop out the CD drive and swap them around so believe it or not oh, that's not good <laughs> so you say it takes a bit of force to put it in but it just went in there perfectly that time it didn't do that at mum's I had to put a little bit of force behind it to get it to press in. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fire this up. We'll have a little look at it. And uh, I've got an Ethernet cable down here. We'll see if we can get some form of internet on it. The power button, I think it's this one. Yeah. I don't know why, but on these older Toshibas, they like to put the power button down on the side. I've actually got another... Toshiba Tech or a completely different model to this one, but is it going to boot? Yeah, the um, the um, CMOS battery is dead. I'm going to have to see if I can replace that. Uh, I'm just going to do that. I think. Nemo's meowing, he's happy because I've fed him. <laughs> I'm hoping she will boot without me having to reset all the time and date. Yep, she will. Some computers can be a bit picky with that. Hang on, I'm going to zoom you in a bit. Uh, handle off, there we go. It's even got AVG installed on it. Can I, uh, <laughs> I've just looked down and the Ethernet cable's wrapped around the tripod leg. Can I actually get hold of that without uh, knocking everything over? The answer to that is yes. This one actually runs into the bedroom. I've got a uh, um, Ethernet hub set up in there. So 
this is supposed to connect onto that little card in here. I have no idea what way up it's meant to go. Okay, it did something. We'll put that in there as well. Someone set up some weird sounds as well. It does take a little while for it to boot. Or is it going to... No, it is still doing something like see the hard drive light flicking, flickering away. And I can hear it. There we go. Yeah, there's no start-up sounds, but the audio does work. It's like I said, someone's obviously been in here and... Ha! The network's password protected. <laughs> we'll cancel that. I didn't do that last time I booted this up when I was at Mum's because I didn't have this connected. But at least I know that works. I don't know why, because it's got built-in Ethernet. Maybe this is faster than the built-in Ethernet. And if anyone knows, BNC connectors, that's the bloody term for these. If anyone knows what these um, connectors are for, because I've actually seen um, PCI Ethernet cards with these on as well. Actually, I've got some. But I have no idea what they're for. I've never had to use them. So, if anyone knows, feel free to let me know. Right, so, we've got Asus WLAN Control Center, Free Serve Internet, Recycle Bin. Is there anything in Recycle Bin? I don't know how much RAM this has got. We'll have a look. It's probably SDDR RAM. In for view, shortcut, that is it. I think they should bring back these little um, finger pointer things, I can't remember what they call them. We got the little nub on the keyboard that you use, because I actually like using that. I've had a quick look on here, there isn't nothing, you know, no sensitive data or anything. So Toshiba Utilities, Windows 98, Messenger Service, so I'm guessing this is the original Toshiba install. That's just a load of um, programs and updates and things, so... Uh, let's go to my computer, we'll see what... The hard drive size is, we have... Do you see what I mean by that? Uh, drum noises. So someone's been in and customised all the noises. It's a 1.64 gigabyte drive. Cool. What a lot of space. Floppy disk drive does work, I have tried it. Got infrared, printers. Right. Need to go to control panel, don't we? Shut up, stupid thing. I'm going to change those. So, 64 megabytes of RAM, it's not telling me what the processor speed is, it's just telling me it's a genuine Intel Pentium, Pentium 1 or something like that. So that's probably not very fast, but it's doing the job. I just think there's a lot else to really... Uh, Look at them, this thing. What have I got a feeling interwebs is not going to work? I 
I don't see that it's doing anything. <laughs> See if I actually searches. Nope. Nope, not opening anything. Internet Explorer provided by FreeServe. Games on it. What we got? Diablo, Red Alert, Yoda Stories, Dark Forces, Duke Nukem 3D. Uh, I've got Office 97 Pro on this as well. What other programs? Anything else that stands out? AVG 6.0 Antivirus System. But that's not the end of this video. No. So I've got another laptop that I want to look at. If I can just squeeze past. Alright. So I've got these for just five pounds the pair. Because they were sold as spares or repairs. Let me just uh, disconnect everything. We'll get the tech rub put away. Yeah, that um, it's an advent, and I can't remember what the other one is. So spares repairs, five pound repair. Ouch. Um. One does boot. Let's just zoom you out. That top one you can just about see there. That does actually um, boot up. And I found that out because I got bored at Mum's, so I uh, took the hard drive out of the bottom one and put it in this one because it hasn't got one, and it did actually boot up. Surprisingly. Um, I'll show you why I say surprisingly because. Uh, in a little bit of a state. It's uh, it's uh, looking a bit rough. Oh, well, that does work, by the way. At least the computer recognises it. I've not actually put a floppy disk in there, so I don't know if it works as far as that. Ones. Now, I think the um, bottom one is actually an Acer. The top one does turn off. I do have the um, adapter for that. So, here's the advent. Oh yeah, the bottom one is an Acer. Um, you look on the inside, you can see it's rather dirty and... Ugh. But like I said, it does actually turn on. And if I stick a hard drive in here, um, it will work. I can install Windows XP and have another Windows XP to my collection. But as you can see, the, um, I took the mouse buttons off and it has got actually a little minor mouse issue anyway. A lot of this plastics feel loose. Has someone actually taken the screws out? I think they might have actually. That one looks missing. Um, I couldn't get USB ports to work, but one of them, you can see, is actually broken. But non-working USB ports aren't actually that much of an issue. Actually, it might be on this one because it hasn't caught the ports. I was looking um, for the PCIe type slots because over here, I actually forget where I got it from. 
think this was for my car, but I've got one of these. For a, um, a laptop. But this one hasn't got the slots on it. That one has. But unless there's a cover somewhere that I can't see, this one hasn't got it. Um, but yeah, if you're wondering what that rattle is, it's because the hard drive caddy and screws are there, even though the hard drive's not. Someone took the hard drive out and put the caddy back. That is rare. <laughs> Anyone that tinkers with old laptops like this will tell you that is actually quite rare. Right, so this is an Acer. Actually, I don't know what model of Advent this is. It's a 7081 for anyone interested with a 1.3 gigahertz Intel Celeron. Should come with a 40 gigabyte hard drive and uh, 256 megs of RAM, which is still installed. So, the Acer. If I can find the info. Uh, it's a Z168 or is that a ZI? I'm not actually sure. What's the DC rating? 19 volts. Yep. I'm hoping I've actually got some adapters down there. Um, this one's actually got the slots for that. I don't think I'm going to need them. So, let's see if I can find a 19 volt adapter. See if we can get some life out of this one. So many adapters down here, so many Dell ones as well. What's this one? Ooh, I better not plug that one in. It's 24 volt. <laughs> Might go bang. What about this one? Is that a 19? No, it's an 18 and a half. That's good. What's this pissy little thing? Look at the size of that thing. I've noticed a lot of modern laptops, they seem to be been getting smaller and smaller with their power supplies. But I guess as a lot of them don't have things like disk drives and whatnot on them, they don't need a, a large supply. This is, believe it or not, 19 volts and I think the socket is there. Wrong plug. Should have checked that. Oh dear. I'll do the desktops in the next video. That's what the next one's going to be. I'll probably film that one right after this. While I'm in the mood to do PCs. I've actually already checked two. You're not going to believe the price that I pay for them either. But I'm not going to tell you in this video. Save that for the other. Not too well. What do I need? I need a figure eight cable. Figures. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't resist the pun. Uh, do I have a figure eight handy? Actually, yes, I do. I don't know. It's uh, in the laptop bag. I might as well use this one. Not seeing any lights though. Oh, this one's a Travel Mate 8000, it's got it written here. Oh. That might be why it don't work. That's, um, yeah, that's a little bit loose fitting. I can't find one of my drawer down here. I may have to uh, look one up tomorrow in my um, outside closet because I have an absolute bucket load of various adapters out there. number of uh see that one's quite loose fitting as well I don't like it when it's loose fitting uh, 
as you can see, I bet this isn't a clover leaf, but it is. If you're wondering why we call these cables clover leaf, that's why. <laughs> because the, uh, the plugs look like the end of a clover leaf. Alright. I've got any life with this one. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, and that one is uh, quite a loose fitting one as well. Next, if I can get it. I don't think this one's even going to fit. Oh, it did. That's actually quite a nice fit as well. Is it actually going to make connections? It is! I've got LED light! Woo! I've got power light! Do we have life? Will it actually... Ooh! It's doing something. I feel like an excited little kid. Did I get a good deal for five pounds, even if the other one does need a fair bit of work to tidy it up? Is it just going to sit on this screen or what? Let's just turn it, shall we? There might be an issue with it because I... No. Blah 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 blah, check date and time settings, yeah, no, it's probably all off. If one to continue... Please boot. That would be great if it does... Ooh. I'd actually look, saw these and walked past them because I thought, nah, I don't need any more Windows XP laptops. I must have over a dozen Windows XP laptops in my cupboard in the bedroom. Uh, but I went back and I was looking at them because me and my brother went around again because we met our dad there as well. And uh, while I was looking at them, they just said, they're five pounds to pair, spares or repairs, so I thought, well, I might as well buy them, because if they don't work, there's plenty of spares on them, screen, battery, RAM, processor, you know, plenty of stuff to keep my other old laptops, you know, work in order, so... This is actually making me happy. This is a fully working laptop. Does mouse work? Yeah. Yep. It's got Bluetooth on this. This has got a 120 gigabyte hard drive in it. Uh, I believe 256 megs of RAM. At least there's only one RAM slot on the bottom. And that's got a 256 megabyte ca um, card. RAM module in it. But it's got 512 megabytes of RAM installed with a 2 gigahertz processor. That's not bad for XP. So that means there's another memory stick hidden under on this, probably under the keyboard, I guess. Because like I said, there's only one RAM slot on the underside. Um sweet but why have we not got any audio I think it's because it's been muted from the looks of it yep that's all it's just been muted well, I'm actually quite happy three laptops that actually work for 20 quid in total like I said I didn't really need these um, I'd rather go for the older ones, like this Toshiba Tecra. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to quibble for that. I've got a quite nice looking laptop, actually. The lid needs a good clean. Uh, but other than a... It's a bit dirty. The, um... Little eject 
button for the PCI slot there, that's um, plastic slot, so it's just a bit of metal sticking out of there. Four USB slots, don't know what this slot is. Looks like it's got like a memory card or something there. Three audio sockets, we've got um, line in, mic, line out. What have we got on the other side? Anything? Not this guy, we've got anything in the disk drive? Nope. Where's the disk drive? Just out of curiosity, it is. It's a DVD multi. Rewriter and disk rewriter. I think that's it. Don't think there's anything on the back. Oh, there is some I.O. on the back. Got Ethernet. Uh, DVI. VGA. Can't remember. <laughs> and I'm not sure what this one is either. I'm actually curious. Where's the end of my Ethernet? Don't think this has got Wi-Fi. It's got Bluetooth, I know that. No, there's no button on there for Wi-Fi. But what does it matter? Because I can always use a Wi-Fi dongle. Plug that in, that should give us a LAN connection. I hope. <laughs> Add your .NET passport. Windows XP. I'll pass. <laughs> think these browsers are going to be too old. I don't think it's going to do anything. No. Yes! <laughs> Look at that. We can actually go online with it. So I could actually do some updates on this. Right. Uh, there's no good point going to Facebook. That's not going to work. Good way to keep your employees from um, doing things like that, isn't it? Use an operating system that is obsolete. In the future, do not ask me again. This page cannot be displayed. <laughs> no. At least I know the internet works. And the audio works. That is it for this video. We've looked at the uh, laptops. Next one's going to be the three desktops. Uh, one of them I actually haven't tried yet. And uh, the other two I have. But I'll discuss that more in the other video. Don't know what I'm going to do with the Advent laptop. I might fix it up. I've got hard drives galore now in my cupboard so I want to keep that with that really don't I? We'll get rid of this one. It's still holding power, look it's all unplugged and the green LED is still on. That's why you should leave power supplies like that to drain before you start opening them up because uh, that's the capacitors and whatnot still holding charge. It's still holding charge really well because it's still lit up. That's actually holding charge really, really well. It's quite scary. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I will keep you updated on what I decide to do with the other one. I've still got other laptops to um, try and get working as well. That had just been put on the back burner. Anyway, as I was saying, thanks a lot for watching. I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.